Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today I'm doing a bit of a run through, some specs and an install on a new roof rack that I bought. I paid full price for it, no sponsored post or anything like that. Just did my research and I've bought the one that suited my budget and my needs. It's a aluminium flat rack from OCAM 4x4. So it's 220 centimeters long, 115 centimeters wide, very lightweight, the whole kit all up is only 26 kilos and probably about a third of that weight is in the uh, bolts and brackets and roof mounts so the rack is really light so it's only $599 plus delivery compared to the King's rack $1149 plus delivery and the Rhino rack I think it's about $1675 plus delivery so you know almost three times the price is the Rhino rack or the front runner better probably but is it three times the price better I don't think so so it's one way to find out buy one of these they do say the poor man always pays twice but maybe not so the reasons I chose this one uh, after watching their install video and doing a bit of research around different brands you can buy was weight mainly uh, I'm trying to keep as much weight as I can off the roof um, the mounting arrangement was a big thing. I've had a steel King's rack before and I didn't like the mounts. It was really hard to put on and I couldn't stop them leaking into the roof, uh, into the B pillar. So I ended up getting rid of it. Um, and the price, obviously. So it was only, I think, $83 delivery for all the way from about Sydney. I think it was around Sydney or Melbourne, all the way up to North Queensland. So pretty good on freight. Cheapest deal I found is actually through their eBay store. The freight was calculated cheaper on the eBay store than it was on the actual website which was weird but um, yeah I saved like another 10 or 20 bucks there so yeah the thing I liked about the mounts was that these mounts go onto the roof nice and easy to put on easy to get to have that gasket that goes underneath them and then you bolt these ones loosely underneath the roof rack and then you just sit it over the top and bolt it on so if you need to take it on and off you literally just take the bolt out of this cover plate that goes on the side lift that straight off and leave these on the roof if you need to take it off so pretty easy all the fasteners all look pretty good quality they all look to be stainless steel the shorter ones I think they're 15 mil spring washer and flat washer go through these brackets here with the nut on the back which there's no washer on that side because they're these um, lock nut type arrangements that actually bite in and, and grip on and the ones that go into the roof are the slightly longer ones same thing spring washer but you use the smaller flat washer and these go through these mounts down into the roof i'll show you that once i get up there to the install and these ones are the longer ones but with the bigger washer and they go through these cover plates on the outside that go through the uh through the roof um, roof rack mount through the roof mount and into a nut does come with a decent quality six mil um, allen key didn't come with a spanner for the other side though but uh, I'm gonna cheat I've actually got a six mil allen key bit on a electric Roby ratchet so should be a bit easier and a bit quicker so the install I'm attempting by myself so hopefully the rack is light enough that I can manhandle it up on the roof without um, scratching the paint on the roof too bad. Paint's pretty much cactus anyway. I am thinking about raptor lining the whole car. So yeah, don't care too much, but still I'll try. And I guess it'll show you whether you can do it by yourself. First up, you need to take these little plastic covers out. So this is where your um, bolts hide for screwing the roof rack mounts into. So. It's got arrows on it you just push them forward they're a spring-loaded thing and they pop out Make a little steel spring on there they come out and then these are they're a 10 mil Take those screws out, they do have little rubber washers on them, 
and this little metal doodad here that's what holds the clips on so you take that out probably give around here a bit of a clean out any mud and dirt so now that I've got all six of the uh, bolts out that block off the, the holes for the where the roof rack mounts go and just gave them a bit of a clean with some contact cleaner and a rag first step is to install the brackets that actually go onto the roof so it's these six brackets here you need just six rubber gaskets that go between this and the roof and six mil allen key which you can use one provided i'm going to use it on the um, power ratchet and you need two for each so 12 of the longer ones the i think they're 20 mil with one split washer and the small flat washer so these roof brackets they go on with the the large flat side facing towards the outside of the vehicle that bit there facing towards the center of the roof so on like that you've got your two set screws with your split washer and your small flat washer so one each through there one two your rubber two bolts in your rubber gasket that goes on each one so that goes over those bolts and these are adjustable so those slots there these adjust back and forth so you want to leave them just nipped up until you make sure everything's lined up step on done really easy roof mounts all on really really easy to do easiest access to get to the screws so bang 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 all six on and if you take the roof rack off for any reason really minimalistic little mounts that are left on there not like the rhino rack version i see some people driving around they've taken the rack off and they do have these big you know the big backbone um, left on the roof and it's got a big kind of right angle edge on there i don't know it, it looks fine but and yeah it's probably a better mount that spreads the weight more evenly does cost just under 600 dollars though just for that backbone if you have a look on the website it's on there so this is like 600 dollars for the whole thing yeah i'd like one yeah i work a good job i could afford one i'm just tight i don't like spending money so let's hope this works out so next up is fitting the roof rack angle brackets loosely underneath the roof rack and then getting it a position to throw the whole lot on top and then fasten it to the roof mounts so trying to be really organized for a change everything's laid out i've got another little table over here that i'm going to throw the rack on its back on top of that so i can work easily around it and get it ready to put onto the roof. Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video, I'm fitting a new aluminium flat rack from Ocam. At the moment, this is about halfway through me filming multiple clips and the instructions on the website. There's a video there where they show you how to do it. They are fitting it to a 150 series Prado. This is a 120 series. So maybe it's different, but on the website it says 120 and 150. And unfortunately the instructions are rubbish. So it tells you to put the L brackets into slots on the roof rack, wrong ones. It says to use the two outer slots. You gotta use the two inner slots. I'll show you why in a bit. And once you get it on there, they tell you to leave the brackets on the roof loose. And now you can't get to them. It's a complete mission doing a quarter turn at a time with a with an Allen key wrench. So I'm gonna pull half this back off and I'm gonna show you the proper way to do it using your brain and hopefully make my life easier. So stick around, let's do it. So we're now back to where we started and we're gonna take a different approach. So left the roof brackets up there on the roof but they say to leave them only loose so you can adjust them once you've got the rack on but the problem is you can't really get in there with the Allen key very easily. It's a pain in the ass. So there's a different way to do this. So what I want to do is get the ones on the roof tight and they've got to be centered. So each of them, the center line of the bracket on the roof needs to be in the center line of these. So I'm just going to measure center to center on these. I'm going to check those measurements up on the car and then I'm going to do them up tight. So they'll be done. Let's do that and I'll show you the next one. So a little trick to find centers. I want to find the center of this whole bracket here between the slots. So I'm going to measure from the outside of that. Measure from the outside. 
So th this part here, move from the outside of that edge to the inside of that edge. So there, 483 to the inside of that, which gives me center to center. So if I hold that on the center there, and hold that on the center there, you can see that matches. That's 483, so that's the easy way to do it. So these back ones here are 483 between the centers of these brackets and 855. 855 going on 856 for those two. I use 855. So I write that down on there. Back 483 center, front 855 center. Now I'm going to measure those brackets on the roof and set those at those measurements and lock them down. I'm going to put all the L brackets onto the roof brackets, which is opposite of what they tell you to do. They tell you to put them onto here loosely. I don't like it. These have got nice big slots on them, and they got the slots wrong in the instructions. So, in their instructions, it could be for the 150 because they put it on a 150, but they say it's also for 120. They tell you to use both outer slots, but I measured the centers of the brackets on the roof. You have to use mostly the inner slots, but pretty much all the inner slots. So it's not right. And I figured that out the hard way. So to save that mistake, I'll just put these brackets on the roof. And then the rack will go on where it wants to go on and you can just center that. So, and I still can't figure out all their ones in their video. All of these have got three holes. That's got two. So, and it's weird. I've got five brackets with two holes and one, back, one bracket with three holes. So either I've got one wrong bracket and they should all have two holes, or maybe the front, because the roof curves down and it's a bit of a longer drop, is meant to have three holes. So maybe on the 120 it's supposed to be four two hole brackets, two three hole brackets, or maybe it's six two holes. Or maybe they're all fucking wrong and it's six three holes, who knows? But it fits. I managed to get it to fit when I fitted it the hard way. So, um, yeah, let's put all the L brackets on there. You need the longer screws, the 20 mils. So you need these cover plates. They've got a weird angle too, which they don't explain to you. One angle is a pretty tight radius, and the other one has got a fair chamfer on it. From what I can see, the long, sharp one like that. That sharp one goes down towards the roof line because it clears the roof a bit easier. So put them on that way and you use the longer set screw, the 20 mils, with a spring washer, the big diameter flat washer and one nut on the back. So let's get all six brackets on the roof and then throw the actual roof rack back on and throw all the bolts in for that. Should be pretty easy. up on top just sitting there loosely and all the slots appear to line up so now I'm just gonna go around throw all the 15 mil bolts in with a spring washer and a flat washer and the lock nut on the back so I'll go do them all loosely and then we'll go and jiggle it and make sure it sits um, so it's not pulling when I tighten it down
and how to center it. You nip these all up, finger tight, so they're all in a uniform position. The holes for these are the back two. The bolts go through the two inner slots on both of those. And on the front one, you need to go through the two outers like that to get them to sit right. And then to get the whole lot centered, you can probably see up under here where the end of your bracket is, where the end of the L bracket is, and the end of the pad that it goes onto. You can feel out that measurement there. You don't, like it doesn't need to be exact, so you can just feel, oh yeah, that's 20 mil. Check the other side if that's 20 mil, then that's the same. And do the same with the back one. And then the whole lot should be centered enough that it's gonna look square. Once you got that done, go around, rattle all these down. I try to move them in the slots and have enough play. So you can see if it's over here, I can't get to it with the, the uh, Allen key in the impact gun. If I slide it over here, then I can get to it easy. So these might be staggered. So you can get to that one there, get to that one there, get to that one there. So move them while they're loose to where you can get to them. Makes it easy to rattle them down. So yeah, let's get that done and then show you the finished product. finished product it was so much easier to do it that way but yeah aluminium rack rock solid looks pretty good if you fit it that way it's heaps easier so on these at the back you've got you got two holes on each of these brackets on the back ones you put the bolt through the top hole so it's low same with the middle one, the middle one goes through the top hole and then the front one goes through the bottom hole because you can see the roof rakes down a little bit there so it accounts for that angle. Job done. Time for a beer. Well deserved after installing a roof rack twice. So yeah, what's your thoughts on the OCAM aluminium roof rack? Like 600 bucks or I think it was 680 delivered. Is it worth getting it, saving yourself a thousand dollars? Or I haven't fitted a Rhino rack one, so I don't know how they fit, but I'm guessing it fits pretty well for that money. But I'd rather save a grand and fit that. Yeah, the instructions had a few holes in them, but if you use your brain, you can figure it out. So not that hard. If it's your first time watching one of my videos, I'm fairly new to YouTube, so uh, still learning as I go. Filming a fair bit of different content. Some of it's um, camping, travel, hunting, a lot of four wheel drive, um, gear, reviews, installations. Um, I got all the videos where I cut the quad bike in half and then made it into a side by side, so I don't mind doing builds. Some stuff with um, QPUs and firearms. So, yeah, if you like one content more than the other, let me know in the comments. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out what my niche is, so maybe I'll just film lots of different stuff, I don't know, but I'll figure it out as I go. Today being Saturday, the OCAM guys aren't open, so I might uh, call them Monday morning and see what the go is with the one bracket that's got the three holes in it. Um, if I can get onto them, I'll make another little clip at the end of this video and throw it in before I post it up. Quick update on the L brackets. I called OCAM 4x4 and they were super helpful and they're all meant to be the ones with the two holes. So they're sending me another one up in an airbag, so hopefully be here on Monday. So yeah, that's it for another video. Next full drive mods I've got coming is uh, I've got two solar panels to go on the roof of this. I've got a King's DC-DC charger. Uh, I've got to throw the fridge in. I've got some wiring to do inside, so I'll probably make a video or two out of that and do a review on the panels and the DC-DC charger install. So if you're keen for that, subscribe. Uh, plus, I can see 96.3% of my People that watch videos, which I think I'm about 30,000 views at the moment, and 117 subscribers, I think. But 96.3% of people aren't subscribed. So, 
Yeah, if you could do that, that'd be a huge favour. The OCAM roof rack, I paid full price for it through eBay. Um, that was the cheapest place to get it and the cheapest place for the freight. Um, but yeah, to help me out, I'll be dropping a affiliate link for eBay in the description. Um, if you use that to buy one, uh, it gives me a couple of bucks at no extra cost to yourself and helps me buy more camera gear to make hopefully some better videos. So today I bought this big tripod to do the time lapse on. A bit more sturdy and a bit higher, so that was, you know, 200 bucks. Just gonna try and get a DSLR soon to try and film better uh, quality. So yeah, until then, time for beer. See you later.